How do you register the copyright for your music? Well, that's what we're going over in today's video. What's up guys, this is Omar with No Nonsense Music Marketing, the number one place for music business and industry advice online. If you are not subscribed already, do me a favor and click that subscribe button because this is important information that music artists need to keep up with for their music career. All right, so today's video is not the most exciting stuff. However, we're gonna teach you how to register your uh, music works for copyright with uh, using the copyright dot gov registration not the hardest thing in the world uh, however the system is pretty antiquated pretty old uh, so it can be a little annoying if you're not the most technologically savvy but we'll walk through it in today's video so first thing you want to do is come on over to copyright.gov slash registration we'll have a link in the uh, description section of this video or the comments somewhere now the reason you want to do this is because whenever you first create your music, it is copyrighted. However, it's not registered. So in order to register it, like if you want to make a copyright claim, if somebody's doing nefarious things with your music and you need to take them to court for something, uh, you just want to have your ducks in a row. So this is what you're going to do to register your works with the copyright office so you're going to come to copyright.gov slash registration scroll down the page and click on this uh, button here that says log into the eco so the first page of this website was updated to look somewhat modern uh, however we see that this is the old antiquated system looks like it's from 1995 so we're going to click this log into eco now if you do not, that even looks old. Uh, these are your tax dollars at work, people. So if it, that just said that they prefer Mozilla Firefox, so I guess somehow this works uh, you know, better with Firefox. It's not a regular website, so it doesn't work with all browsers. I'm on Chrome, uh, but I think we'll be able to get through it. Well, I'm going to blur out the user ID and password, obviously, but if you do not have a, an account registered, you're just going to click this button that, you know, walks through the registration and then you're going to log in. Now to register a work, you're just going to do this standard application. And it's, it's going to be $65 uh, to do this. Just FYI, that's registering it. Most artists, uh, you shouldn't run into copyright problem, problems if you're just doing all original work and, um, you know, you're a moderately sized indie artist. Shouldn't run into too many copyright problems. And even if you do, it might not be of the stage that you need to sue somebody. Like You probably should just talk to them and get, get a deal worked out because the legal process is obviously antiquated is one way to, to describe it. However, we're just going to walk through this process so you know how to do it. So um, I'm not going to do all these steps as if they were accurate. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you're going to choose a the type of work that you're choosing, sound recording, obviously. Um, you're going to tick the box, hit continue. And you can read through all this if you want to. But, you know, the title that you're doing, uh, this is the title of the work being registered. If you're updating your previous one or any alternate titles, then you can do it like that. We're just going to call this Omari, title of the work. Let's say I had a song called Omari. Um, then we're going to go to continue. Yeah, you get the point. So has this been published? You would just hit yes. If you already put it out on DistroKid or Lander, uh, for instance, then you would say yes for this and just enter the date that it was published. Uh, I did want to go over this one thing here, this ISRC. You can choose your um, this the, the ISRC number or whatever identification number you want to over here. Uh, to get your ISRC, you can just do an ISRC lookup 
on Google and you should find the RS ISRC of the song. That's just an identification number that whenever you uploaded it to your distributor, it's going to spit out this unique code and that way it's just easier to find and attribute data to. But it's pretty self-explanatory. Like when you go through all these things, just going to ask you for your address. If you're registering it under your business name or your personal name, you should have an LLC for your music company. Even if you're a solopreneur, you're a solo artist, just go create an LLC. Uh, it's does it's not super duper expensive and it'll help protect you in case anybody else wants to sue you. So a LLC is a limited liability company, which means that if somebody tries to sue uh, your music business, they can only come after the assets of the business. They can't come after any personal assets. So let's say that you have five different companies and you do so, somebody, an employee or you screws up something in your music company and somebody comes after your, that company to sue you, they can only sue that company. They can't sue you personally or any of your other businesses. All right. So register yourself for an LLC, uh, get all that paperwork in place so that you can register the works under that and you know keep all your, your business, keep, keep a business card, keep uh, business credit card. Um, I'm meaning not, you know, like a card to hand out for networking events, like a business credit card or business debit card. Spend all your expenses under that business account. Uh, so you keep all your, your files in one place. That way, when it comes time to be professional, because you're a business, you're a business owner as an artist. Uh, you have all the tax advantages that come with being a business owner and you can put more money back into your work. Your, your work of being an artist and your business. So and that's just a little free game there, guys. The, the, the most tax efficient way to go about things is to have a business. So if you want to save money or, you know, essentially give yourself more money to, to do what you want with it, um, whether that be, you know, charitable things or things for your business, the best way to do that is by setting up a business. So, you know, go, go get that done. Uh, not legal advice. Obviously, none of this is legal legal advice, but that is something smart to do. Uh, the rest of this stuff, pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, uh, when you get to the end of it, you're going to hit this. You're going to um, find a payment option. It's going to be $65 as of uh, August 2022. I don't know whenever you're watching this, but that's what it is right now. Maybe different. Uh, at the time that you are watching this, but uh, after that happens, you're going to submit the work and you will get correspondence on any next step. So that's how you register your songs with the copyright.gov um, option. It's not the hardest thing to do. Uh, this this backend system. That's why I went through it a little bit because sometimes you have to click the new button first before you click continue. So if you're not technologically savvy that might have been a little confusing but uh other than that uh it'll show you any error messages like if you're missing a section so you'll be able to complete it uh if you can watch this video trust me you have the ability to go on copyright.gov and finish that application to register the copyright of any work all right so leave us a comment with any questions you have on this we'll do our best to help you guys out hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already the higher percentage of you guys watching this video are not subscribed to our videos, even though you keep watching them. So click the subscribe button, do us a favor, uh, really helps us out with the algorithm. Hit the like button as well. That helps us out too. And we'll catch you in the next video.